Welcome guys, PUBG has gotten a new assault rifle exclusive to the new map Tego. The K2 assault rifle is a 5.56 assault rifle with the least attachment slots of any 5.56 AR in the game. So obviously to reduce the recoil the most, you just want to put a compensator on it. Simple. But how does the K2 compare to the big boy M416 that is currently the most used assault rifle in the entire game? We're going to do a quick comparison of damage, rate of fire, bullet velocity, bullet drop, recoil, reload speed, ADS speed, weapon sway, and audible distance. This should give us the information we need to know whether or not the K2 is better. The base damage of the K2 is 41, which is one higher than the M4 that sits at 40. And since the rate of fire is the same, the K2 ends up with just slightly higher DPS than the M416. In practice, this will mean that you in rare situations, perhaps 1-2% to of your fights, will require one less bullet to kill with a K2 compared to an M416, resulting in a potential faster time to kill by 86 milliseconds. This slightly harder hitting bullet will also hit faster as the bullet velocity of the K2 is on average about 10% faster. Having the fastest bullet can decide a near trait encounter. This faster bullet will also mean lower bullet drop, requiring you to compensate less on longer range shots. So far, the K2 is ahead, but now when we're looking at the recoil, it very quickly falls behind. The K2 has significantly more recoil compared to a fully attached M4. Both weapons are tested with the best possible attachments for recoil, as loot is insanely strong on Tego. This is simply what makes the most sense. It might look like the K2 has better horizontal recoil, but if I stretch the pattern of the M4 to match the high vertical recoil of the K2, you'll see that they're very similar, and the K2 will just require more control. And unfortunately, it gets even worse, because if we look at the very critical first bullets in the spray, the K2 has terrible first bullet recoil, which means that it will require a big correction in the start of a spray compared to the M416, and this will undoubtedly lead to missed shots. The reload time of the two weapons is the same. And so is the ADS speed, but don't forget you can put a thumb grip on an M416 if you want a faster ADS. You can't do this on a K2. The weapon sway is better on the M4, Obviously, again, it can take more attachments to improve features like this. At this point, the M416 has taken the lead, but now things will take perhaps another twist. When we listen to the loudness of the two weapons and the audible range, the K2 is almost as quiet as an M416 with a suppressor. This graph shows the loudness over distance, and up to around 100 to 150 meters, there is barely any difference between the M416 and a K2. So where does that leave us? The K2 has a higher DPS, but only very slightly, and that will rarely make a difference. The faster bullet velocity is nice, but as this is an assault rifle, this will matter less since most of your encounters will be in close to mid-range. The recoil is much better for the M4, and the K2 has atrocious first bullet performance, causing the gun to jump much higher than the M4. The more quiet weapon sound of the K2 is also pretty cool, but you'll still be heard hundreds of meters away with both weapons, and I don't really see this difference making a significant impact on your game. So basically, my verdict is just that the K2 is a worse version of the M416, and it is not a better choice as it will not be able to compete with a stacked out M4. Which is really sad since I was hoping that this new assault rifle would at least beat the M416 meta on Tego. I'm not a fan of putting new weapons in the game that you'll mostly be using simply because of aesthetics. It almost seems a bit pointless to me. I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you guys next time.